What's up everybody, I'm Taylor Soper with GeekWire. We're here in Seattle, Washington in the Ballard neighborhood at Fisherman's Terminal. Probably the least likely place where you'd find one of the hottest sports tech startups, but just a few blocks away is where Vices is making its high-tech football helmet that'll be worn by players in the NFL and NCAA this upcoming season. We're gonna go get a sneak peek of Vices' new production facility. Let's go take a look. Dave Marvers, the CEO. Dave, tell us about Vices, what you guys are making, and then we can get into what's going on in here. Thanks, Taylor. It's great to have you here. Vices is a sports technology company. We're based here in Seattle, and our first product is called the Zero One. It's a revolutionary new football helmet that we launched this spring to NFL and elite NCAA squads. And you're here in our production facility in Fisherman's Terminal. It was important to us as a Seattle-based company to also manufacture here in the U.S. And we make our helmets right here. And we're really happy to, to have you here and show you what we, what we do. Okay, so Dave, this looks like an ordinary football helmet just from a common fan's view. But this is, this, this is very special. There's some really cool technology going on here, right? Yeah, there's a lot of engineering in this helmet, and we did design it to look like traditional football helmets. That's what the players asked, to do, asked us to do. They wanted a traditional look, kind of an updated modern classic with clean lines. But the engineering is on the inside. Uh, on the, uh, to start with, the outer shell is deformable. That means that when it's impacted, it actually uh, yields like a car bumper would upon impact. And in doing so, it slows the impact forces before they can reach the head. And then we have this layer of columns. I don't know if you can see that. We call it our reflex layer. And that does a lot of the work of, of absorbing or slowing the, the load, the impact from a collision. Then we have a, a very thin, hard inner shell to protect against skull fracture. And finally, the inner liner is actually customizable for a given player. So the equipment manager for an NFL team or a college team can select the liner that best fits that player. All right, here we are into the facility, the production facility here, and it feels like a science lab slash, you know, manufacturing facility. It was very cool. Let's, let's walk over here and tell us what's going on in terms of what's being made uh, as far as the helmet goes here. All right, so uh, this is our reflex layer. These guys, uh, th this is the magic that makes the helmet work. It, uh, it absorbs all of the, the, or a lot of the energy that, uh, from the collisions. Um, they get prepared for gluing uh, both sides, and then they go off into uh, the production area. And so, you know, with these helmets, there are a variety of teams here, and the, the, the paint and the color is very specific, right? The teams, they care a lot about that. Yeah, they do, and it, it seems like everybody tried to come up with a scheme that nobody could copy, <laughs> and then we have to copy it. So we have a very talented guy in the back that, can, uh, that does magic with all this. This is our tint room where all of the color matching magic happens. Uh, again, it's a, a world-class facility. Uh, we've got a, you know, all of the ventilation that's required. Um, it's got a, uh, we got a gun washer, of course, the, uh, the re solvent recycler, and, uh, and all of the matching and mixing happens right in here. So one part of the helmet that's important is the cage or the mask that, that covers up the face. Tell us about how you guys at Vices have thought about that and designed that and implemented it into the helmet. Yeah, we have a number of different cages or masks that we've developed, and we did that with player feedback. You know, they told us the kind of masks that they would want. Uh, what's unique about our masks is they're only offered in titanium, so very lightweight, very strong. And they also accentuate the fact that our helmet has the widest field of view, peripheral view of any helmet on the market. And that's both a safety and performance attribute. They can see more of the field, they can locate the ball more quickly, uh, but they're also less likely to be blindsided by a hit or a blocker coming their way. So that's one of the unique things about the Zero One. And tell us about some of the player reception so far during uh, the OTAs and brand practice. They have been testing it, I've seen some tweets, and players seem to be pretty happy so far. Yeah, we're, we're happy. You know, our, our, the testing is behind us now. We feel like it's the most extensively tested helmet in history, both in the lab and on field. And now it's, uh, it's, it's on the field, and it was used by a number of different programs, probably 20 of the top college programs and, and most of the NFL programs during OTAs and, and mini camps. This is the inaugural season for the Zero One. So uh, we're all excited. I think the players are excited, and, and uh, we hope to make a big difference out there. Ultimately, the goal is to go high school and even below that in terms of really protecting youth players, right? 
Taylor, that's absolutely right. You know, we, we want to do this for the kids and all the, I mean, there are a lot of parents sitting around dinner tables throughout America that are concerned about their kids who are playing football and other contact sports, even uh, girls soccer, for example. And we feel like we have a, a group of engineers that um, has developed a lot of uh, expertise, deeply committed to helping people. And, and we want to take what we've learned in developing this football helmet and extend that into, into other sports. So this is just the beginning. Maybe in a couple of years we'll be in a, a bigger facility. And uh, But this is really exciting to be at the ground level of this. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, Dave. Thank you, Taylor. We're proud to be in Seattle, and, and we feel like we can create a, uh, an enduring company here that creates a lot of cool jobs and, and also, as I said, makes a difference for a lot of people. All right, well, thanks for having us. Thank you. You bet.